know, my favorite, if I had to pick, I would love Miles Jack to come to the 49ers. I've been looking at him, looking at his highlights. He's a, He could play so many different positions. I would just love to have him on the team. Are you listening? 49ers! <laughs> It's getting exciting now. Off-season training camp is underway. Did you check out the clips on Niners Nation? Ooh, I'm, yeah, if that doesn't get you juice, I'm, nothing will. Guys are in the weight room. Eli Harrell is looking like a darker version of the Hulk. Remember he was talking about gaining 20 pounds? He did. The guy is looking grizzly. Can't wait to see that dude coming off the edge this year. <laughs> they were able to contain him a little bit last year because he was a little light. That ain't happening this year. It's what I'm telling you right now. And the guys outside training, you know that Santa Clara sun is hot right now. You can see the sweat just glistening off these guys. They're running wind sprints together individually. They're dragging weights behind them as they run. You see guys doing drills. Carlos Hyde looking great, man. The dude dropped 10 pounds. He looks like a spelt lean machine. Medicine balls being thrown all over the place. The sled being worked. Looks like everybody's there, too. What I really appreciated was I seen Eric Armstead and Aaron Lynch. Remember last year, Aaron Lynch with the back surgery, he wasn't able to make any of the training camp. He took it off the whole time, and he had to get in shape during the regular season. Not good. Dude is looking good right now. Really good. Also, Eric Armstead, <laughs> Oregon University has a thing about, oh, no, you, you, you can't leave. We don't care if you're in the NFL or not. You're not leaving here until the specified date and you'll be authorized to leave. So there's Eric. He misses all, almost all of preseason training camp. He's there this year. He was all pushed around that sled. These guys are gonna be ready this year. You can already feel it. You can see the mud in their eye. So it's something to get excited about. Just see the guys all together like that. <laughs> it just, it, it makes me, I gotta do it, man. It reminds me of a song, see the guys like that all the way back in town again. The boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. <laughs> Don't get me started. I will not hold the concert. Promise. Listen, before I introduce you to another member of our fam, what in the world is wrong with Josh Gordon? What the hell is wrong with him? Here's a guy that had it made. Josh Gordon, all you got to do is lay off the weed, bro. Josh Gordon makes relevant why they do the Wonderlick test. The guy's an idiot. You know, if you stop smoking dope at the end of February, maybe another week into March, you can pass the test in April. Not Josh. He comes right in, takes examination, and he fails. <laughs> I hate to laugh at him. But this is too stupid. You just got suspended for a year, and you can't see fit to try to be careful before you get back into the league. At least wait until the season starts to get suspended again. <laughs> Josh Gordon. Gets the dumbass award of the year. Now, the reason I mentioned Josh for any reason anyway is because remember when you and I wanted Josh Gordon to play for the San Francisco 49ers? This dude's a beast, man. He's one of the best receivers in the league. He would have been all pro for the last two years easily had he not got suspended or kicked out of the league the year before last. And then, of course, the year he got kicked out for a year last year. Gordon. I, I'm talking to like 49er fans everywhere. If we could just get Josh Gordon, Trent, do it, get him. And then would you please imagine for a minute, Josh Gordon, Alden Smith. At the time we wanted him, Alden was in the fold. Imagine Alden Smith, I got it all pictured. A few minutes, everybody's warming up. We're getting ready to play the Panthers. There's Josh and Alden, you know they'd buddy up, but see if not, hey, hey, hey. They run inside the locker room. Gotta hit it one more time, right? See that singing in the locker room? There they go, right? Come on, make it. I tell you what, man. I tell you what I'm gonna do today. I plan on dropping Cam at least five times. I ain't lying. Watch and see. That boy's going down. And of course, <laughs> Josh, not to be outdone. I tell you what, you gonna drop camp five times, look for my total yard to be around 300. <laughs> hey, Josh, Alvin, you guys in here? 
Yeah. Yeah, what's up, coach? We're starting in about five minutes. What the hell are you guys doing it? Let's go. All right. All right. Yeah, we're coming right now. <laughs> Bravo. Yo. Stop with you, man. That ain't funny. <laughs> Tell you what is funny, though. What? Anthony Davis. He needs to throw out all day on Twitter. <sighs> like he ain't got nothing else to do. I know. Have you been checking him out? I have. Word got out like it always do. The 49ers are about to get rid of somebody. Namely, Anthony Davis. Yes. Trent immediately calls Davis up and lies to him yeah. about any dealings. And he tweets it up. He's feeling all good about himself. He tweets it up right away. Cha, 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 cha. Trent is a dog. He knows if AD finds out, he'll lose him. And any deal that could have been made is finished. Cha, 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 cha. I'm out of here, Bob. Bob. I, you know what? I cannot be amused by that. AD is not funny. All right, you know what? L let me not get started on AD. In fact, let us now go ahead and let me let me introduce you. Bam! Got my man, March Money. <laughs> March Money's real name is Eddie, but you know what? His other name is March Money. I was gonna mess with him because I say, March, it's April. Do you become April Money? <laughs> I know what. Shut up, Rodbo. It's stupid. All right, listen. Let's go to March Money. March, I can't stop calling you that, man. I kind of like the name March Money. But if you need to know his name, when we give you IDs and all that. You want to contact him, maybe friend him up on some social media. He's Eddie Brown. But meanwhile, for me, he's March Money. <laughs> March Money. Situation is, we got the Golden Boys coming through town this week. You got Carson Wentz, you got Jared Goff, you got Miles Jack. Hey, first, how you feel about these guys, man? Do, do, do you get excited about any one of them? Do you want one in particular? Who's your favorite guy out of that group? You know, my favorite, if I had to pick, I would love Miles Jack to come to the 49ers. I've been looking at him, looking at his highlights. He's a, he could play so many different positions. I would just love to have him on the team. You know, because him and Bo, together, you're right, man. Yeah. There's something else, March Money. Here's the thing. Everybody's talking about, well, we got this guy, we got this guy, and Trent's looking at this guy and looking at this guy. Think about this for a second. You've been a 49er fan for how long now? Uh, since not that long, actually. The, uh, 2013. 2013. Okay, yeah, so you had two years. seasons. But were you around for the draft in 2013? Did you see the 2013 draft? No, I was not. Okay, because... La okay, so last year was your first year. Anyway, Trent yeah. rarely, rarely talks to the guys he's going to draft. Last year, he did talk to Eric Armstead and drafted him and shocked everybody, but that's not a normal thing. So pay no attention. I'm, I'm warning people. Pay no attention to all these people coming in and 49ers talk to him. It means nothing. <laughs> Ooh, you got something you see with the Denver trade going down that you got some feelings about, man. But you Let me hear about that. Yeah, so, you know, I was looking on my phone, you know, um, it gives me notifications, and um, I'm looking at Bleacher's Report, and it's talking about how the Broncos traded a seventh-round pick and uh, Claudie to the Jets, mm -hmm. and uh, the Jets gave them a fifth-round pick, mm -hmm. and that just, uh, that raised some eyebrows, because that saved them uh, close to $9 million, right. and you know who they've been trying to get from the 49ers. Yeah. Kaepernick. Yeah. So they might just, you know, go ahead and pay him the whole eleven point nine million. Cause you're right. That timing, yeah. the timing on that deal is pretty strange. But yeah. but then they turned right around and said, We ain't changing our deal. So you know, this is that time of year when everybody toys with everybody. All the GMs like to mess with each with each other to see yeah. who will give in first. Because whoever saves the money, so Trent says, all right, he'll be there tomorrow. We'll cover the rest of the expense. Or Trent will say, listen, I have told you, John, it's not hurting me for him to stay in San Francisco. If you want him, you pay him. If you don't want to pay him, then stop calling me. You know, yeah, I'm seeing that kind of thing coming down. You know, he won't be that rude because, you know, they're all good buddies. But I'm kind of yeah. seeing that, you know. All right. So it was, we have to wait and see on that. Who knows? Between now and drafting, you could be right on target with that, you know. I think they personally should, you know, keep um, Kaepernick, you know, 
everybody's been saying he fits uh, Chip Kelly's system. I think he fits Chip Kelly's system. Um, I think we're going to see vintage Kaepernick, mm-hmm. you know, the old school Kaepernick. Mm-hmm. I don't think we should trade trade up or get uh, Windsor Golf. I think we should just keep Kaepernick and uh, add to our uh, defense. I gotta, you know what, though? I, I, if I had to bet money right now, they, Kaepernick is not going to be He's not going to be dealt. We need defense so bad. He'll stay yeah. right where he is. And then besides that, you, me, and everybody in the civilized world does want to see what Cap looks like in the Chip Kelly system. Let us Let's see this. We've got to see it. You know, if, it, if he fails, okay. We still wanted to know. So, you know, another thing I'm really tired of real quick, the Seahawks. They have owned us. For over two years, it's going into a third year. Eminem, I cannot handle another year of Seahawks beatdowns. Your prediction on this year with the Seahawks, man? Are we going to lose to the Hawks again this year? Seahawks, you know, I think I think we're going to win both games. I think we're going to win both games this year. You know, you know, Bowman. He said he's uh. He's feeling good about a Chip Kelly system. Everybody's feeling good about Chip Kelly system. I've seen the videos, the workout videos. Um, they've all been, you know, doing great. I think we're gonna beat them both. And plus, I've been hearing that uh, Chip Kelly was tearing up uh, Pete Carroll <laughs> in uh, in college. So I mean, hey, you never know. Yeah, I think we're gonna win both times. Everybody brings that up. Different personnel though on each team but still you just first of all you need the mind to beat a team chip's got that you got yep. players in the second and third year who are going to be a lot better than they were last year i like your prediction man to yeah. a sweep over the hawks yep. if we don't do anything else this year if we sweep the hawks my season everybody's season will be made <laughs> i think uh i think this year we can go 10 10 6 I think we're going to go 10 6. 10 6 this year. It's a Chip Kelly magic number. He did that with the Eagles. Yep. 10 6. <laughs> like that. You got to give me the holler, man. I'm going to count to 3 2 1. Put yourself at Levi Stadium. 3 2 1. Niners! <laughs> I believe that man has a good voice. He should be singing anyway. <laughs> <Yeah>. March money! <laughs> Thanks for joining me, little bruh. We'll see you online. Rumble Sports wanted to throw out a huge congratulations to the Golden State Warriors and their fan base. Look at you. No matter what happens from here, you guys will go down as one of the greatest teams of all time. And we're proud of you all around the Bay Area. Now just keep going. Win those playoffs. <laughs> Not here by Armini coming up this Sunday, but of course. I'll leave all the instructions on Facebook, Rombo Sports fan page, along with topics of the day. Normally I always do that, but I always beg you, please don't pay that any attention. Don't take it so serious that you forget to bring your own subject matter. You can bring any topic you want to the meeting. We'll love to talk about it with you. Also about an hour before we even get started, Instagram and also Twitter, you'll see instruction there as well. Please hit like if you do, share and subscribe so you know when I come looking for you. And yes, we have an app. If you heard it as a rumor, it's true. We have an app. Just go to the App Store, Rombo Sports, of course you need that name. Go to the App Store or the Google Play Store. I do this each and every day. I wake up and I go through all the information concerning the 49ers anyway. I put it all together. I pile it up and I stick it on the app. That, along with these same interviews that you're seeing that include you. And also, we've got a podcast coming up each and every week now as well. You can be involved with both. I left the information on the app, how you can contact me. Check that out. Let me know when you want to join me and we will get it done. Did I mention that the app is free? It's free, of course it's free. I hope to see you on Sunday. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yo, the secret stone. Oh, you crazy, mother.